Hi, and welcome to another lesson about IGCSE Economics. This is Unit 3 Part 3. In today's lesson we will be learning about banks and the stock market. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Let's start out talking about banks. A bank is a financial institution involved in money transactions. Banks and the services they provide are vital for a modern economy. The two banks that are important for your economics course are central banks and commercial or retail banks. Examples of central banks are China's People's Bank of China, in the United Kingdom, the Bank of England, in the USA, the Federal Reserve Bank. What are the functions of a central bank? They issue banknotes or money. They are the banker to the government. It is their job to regulate monetary policy, usually by increasing or decreasing the rate of interest. They manage national gold and foreign currency reserves, and they represent the government. Now let's move on to commercial banks. Examples of commercial banks are Bank of China, HSBC, Standard Chartered, and Lloyd's TSB. What are the functions of commercial banks? Accepting money of consumers for saving, giving loans, to make and receive payments, providing insurance, provide storage for valuables like safe deposit boxes, provide exchange of currencies, providing check services, providing credit and debit cards and internet banking. Banks also provide an important source of money for businesses to invest in capital. There is much more that we can say about banks. But let's continue the discussion when we talk about the government and the economy. Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Next, let's talk about the stock exchange. A stock exchange is a market or organization where shares and securities can be bought and sold. Examples that you may have heard of are, the NASDAQ, the Shanghai Stock Exchange, the London Stock Exchange, and the Tokyo Stock Exchange. What are the functions of a stock exchange? It allows the buyer to buy and the seller to sell shares. It allows a company to raise capital by selling shares. It protects the buyer. This is because not just any company can sell shares to the public, you must be licensed. It indicates the country's economic performance. A stockbroker is an individual who buys and sells stocks and securities through a stock exchange to clients. These can be to retail and institutional buyers. This is an example of a share certificate. In this case, it is a share of Dell Computers. It must be noted that only shares of public companies are listed on the stock exchange. When the stock market is doing well and prices are going up, this is called a bull market. Prices are charging ahead. When the stock market is doing poorly and prices are going down, this is called a bear market. It's like the bear has attacked and there is blood on the floor. The price of a share has a nominal or face value. This is the price that the share was issued at. It also has a market price. This is the price that the share can be sold or bought for. When you own shares, a dividend may be paid to you. A dividend is the share of profit given to the shareholder per share. If the share has a face value of $20 and the market price is $25. If the company declares a 10% dividend, then you would receive $2 per share. Yield is the dividend expressed as a percentage of market price. In this case, the yield would be 8%. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.